god, this is supposed. This is already my third attempt at making this video. So hopefully I don't mess up on this one because I keep saying the word nitro a lot. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm FHRC Brony, and um, I'm here to make a little bit of a follow-up video on my Traxxas Rustler and my and my uh, Titan 12 turn. It, it, my Titan Toe Turn got, is already burned. I already threw it away because I burned it during while I was doing a speed run with my Slash. So you will not be do seeing any videos of my Rustler at the moment uh, in stock brush setup, including my Slash as well with the stock ESC and motor. I still got my XL5 ESC still works fine, so I'm going to hold that off until I get myself another brush motor. I'm probably gonna do an upgrade instead of using the the crappy 12 turn, which most people refer it to as. It's, it's a piece of crap. And um, uh, yeah, so from now on, my slash it has the brushless setup on it. It has the Hobby Wing SC8 and the and the Castle 5700 KV motor. So Hobby Wing SC8 ESC, and that's an eight scale ESC, by the way. And the Castle Mamba Max Pro 5700 KB brushless motor. So that's that's on that car, and it's, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the brushless brushless system again. Anyways, the main subject that I really want to talk about here is the new so-called new Traxxas Fortec. Um, I'm gonna get one this summer, as I told you guys in my previous video when I was talking about the the Fortec. Uh, if you guys didn't see that, I will put that on the end of the video so you guys can see that. But anyways, uh, I know people are going to be saying, why are you going to get one this summer? Why don't you just get yourself a, a better a better street car, you know, like something from HPI or something. Um, first of all, I, I mean, I'm a huge Traxxas lover. Uh, everything, everything I do with RC is pretty much Traxxas stuff. I mean, a little bit, I will throw in a little bit of HPI, a little bit of Arma or Associated, Low C and stuff like that, you know. But I, I'm primarily a Traxxas guy, so that's one reason why I wanted to get the Fortec. Um, but the, um, the real reason that I wanted to get myself a Fortec, the new Fortec 2.0, which has the Ford GT body and all that cool stuff. Um, it's not just because, of course, the body. It's not just by the body and the looks of the car. It's going to be my first street car. And I've been drooling over a Fortec for for quite a while. And, you know, the Nitro Fortec's all cool and all, but it was, it, I like I said, it's, it's not a car for me, though. And I'll, I'll tell you why in just a moment. Uh, first of all, the Traxxas Fortec was made around, the electric Fortec was made in the late 90s to early 2000s until they discontinued it somewhere in the mid 2000s until um, a few years, a uh, few years time, you know, time went by. So they discontinued that around the mid 2000s and the, and the Nitro Fortec um, still continued on. And uh, like I said, I've been real. I really wanted to get myself a Fortec, but unfortunately, they discontinued that um, once I when I read on the on the Traxxas forums um, a long time ago, and only the Nitro Fortec was the only car that was available for me at this moment. But I wasn't a huge Nitro person, and here's the reason why: I live in an, in an in an apartment in an apartment complex, and. I'm restricted to what I have with me. I can't have a nitro car or anything that's powered by fuel inside my house. For one reason, it's 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 toxic, and second of all, I don't want anything smelly in my room nor inside my house whatsoever. And people are going to be saying, "Hey, don't you have at least have a garage or something?" I mean, that could be a good idea, but the thing is. I don't have a garage. My apartment complex doesn't offer that. So, 
that's one of the reasons why I don't want to go for the Nitro Fortec. It's not just because I, I'm not just a Nitro kind of person. I'm not a big Nitro person whatsoever. I mean, I will try out some Nitro cars every now and then, but I'm not like overall, I'm not a Nitro kind of guy. Um, and second is obviously for the environment I'm in right now. It, I live in an apartment, but if I live in the house, like an actual house, I will get myself a nitro car if I wanted to. And, um, yeah, that's like my main reasons why I didn't go for the nitro Fortec. So, somewhere around late February, um, somewhere right after Valentine's Day, um, I got an email from Traxxas and they, they finally announced that the new, so-called new, Traxxas Fortec has been, is going to be releasing somewhere in late March. I was like, yes, I knew something like this was going to come. And like I said, I wanted to get myself a Fortec for quite some time, but I wasn't a really big fan of the Nitro Fortec. That's why I've been waiting for this long to get myself the Fortec 2.0, then second generation Fortec. Well, it's actually a third generation Fortec because Nitro Fortec, the the first generation E Fortec, and then there's the Nitro Fortec, and then there's the the third generation Fortec, which is basically the the generation two of the electric Fortec. Um, okay. Um, now I'm going to be talking about the Fortec itself. Um, it's like I said, it's like it's, it's a re-release of the car of the original Fortec with some new stuff on it. You know, it has the, I think it has GTR shocks or base basically some of the shocks that you'll find on the 16 scales. I think, um, according to what I saw in the pictures that Traxxas uh, showed. Um, the only thing I don't like about it that. I know that people will agree with me is the fact that it has the Titan 12 turn and the XL5 ESC and the price is $300 US that is kind of ridiculous for a car that's pretty basic straightforward and has barely any adjustabilities like camber or tow caster and nothing like that not none of that crazy stuff it's it's pretty basic other than just the, it's a I mean the reason why it's 300 bucks is because the fact that it has the has a licensed body the Ford GT of course it's gonna it's gonna be worth more than what you will find as if it was just the base model but like overall though even if it didn't have the Ford body on it if it just had a regular Fortec body it really shouldn't be three hundred dollars whatsoever. I mean, I paid three hundred dollars for this slash right here, with the onboard audio, and it had the X05 and Titan 12 turn on it when I first bought it. And it's the it's not just by the Courtney body, but it was also the fact that it had the onboard audio system. So that's why it was three hundred dollars. But with a car that's that's pretty basic and it was straightforward, it just only has it just only has the Ford GT body. That's the only thing only cool thing about it and just has a titan 12 turn and an xl5 for 300 dollars us that's kind of ridiculous to me honestly and some of you guys may agree with that but that doesn't change the fact that i still wanted to get this car so like i said i've been really digging into the nitro Fortec a lot but the nitro but the nitro part is not really my thing i'm not into nitro cars so i've been waiting for the for a new re-release of the of the fortec and it's finally here so i'm going to be getting one by this summer and i'll be hopefully doing an unboxing video for that um what else and once i'm done doing some runs with it with, in stock condition i'll be upgrading that to either a vxl or a castle or Castle, um, what was that? Castle Sidewinder SV3, or maybe I could wait a little bit longer, somewhere in the in the middle part of summer, middle half of summer, 
and I could just and wait until they got myself a got themselves a brushless version of the truck truck <laughs> brushless a version of the Fortec called the Fortec VXL I don't know but we'll never know but at this moment I'm gonna be getting one for sure this summer and I'll I will do my unboxing video with that and so be on the lookout for that what else yeah, so like I said, it's, it's just a re-release and nothing too special, nothing too crazy about it other than just a, a cool looking body and slightly updated um, components and and uh, electronics in it. And I do know for a fact that the original original Fortec had the XL1 ESC and the Stinger motor. Now it has the XL5 and the Titan 12 Turk. So like I said, once I'm done with all that stuff, I'll be putting myself a brushless system on it. I don't know for sure either a VXL or a SV3, but we'll see about that. And um, yeah, that's about it. We're running out of memory here, so that is all for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.